Dan Mackenzie welcomes our longtime friend and ally, His Grace, the Duke of Sandringham. It is our honor to share our bounty with him. Always a pleasure. Visit Clan Mackenzie. God bless Scotland. God bless the King. Slanjiva! Slanjiva! Slanjiva. Make quite the trio. <laughs> Certainly. Colum and the Duke appear to be in fine spirits. <laughs> Let me guess, this must be Mrs. Fraser. Claire, allow me to introduce His Grace, the Duke of Sandringham. An honor, madam. <laughs> Jamie, if you wouldn't mind getting me something to drink while the Duke and I get better acquainted. Of course. Excuse me. You bastard. You had to get your pound of flesh, didn't you? Merely a quid pro quo. You're familiar with the term? It simply means this for that. Well, if anything happens to Jamie during your little duel, quid pro quo. Your concern for your husband is commendable, but may I point out that it is I that will be faced with the disagreeable end of a pistol. So you better hope that nothing happens to me, or this petition of your husband's will never reach London. I reluctantly searched the crowd for my friend. However, what I found was anything but a grieving widow. It was then I noticed traces of a peculiar odor. Bitter almonds. The same smell you'd find resulting from a dose of cyanide. And I knew straight away what had caused Arthur Duncan's sudden demise. He'd been poisoned 